Hello viewers, welcome to another video. In this video, we will learn different types of circuit breakers for high voltage. When I say high voltage, it means that voltage ranges between 6.6 .6 kV to 7.65 kV. So the main purpose of circuit breaker is to open or break the circuit during fault condition and in that condition, the purpose of circuit breaker is to properly quench the arc that is produced during contact opening. So based on our quenching method, we have four different types of circuit breaker. The first is oil circuit breaker, then air blast circuit breaker, vacuum circuit breaker and SF6 circuit breaker. So we will be going to discuss the working principle of each circuit breaker along with their advantages and disadvantages. So keep watching the video till the end in order to understand in which application we can use which type of circuit breaker. So let us start by defining the oil circuit breaker. So this type of circuit breaker is designed 33 kV to 765 kV. The OCB has an insulating oil in the interrupter which is used as an arc quenching medium for the arc extinction. Oil has a better insulating property than the air. So this chamber, which is also known as interrupter, consists of these current carrying contacts enclosed in a metal tank and the tank is filled with an oil. And these contacts are made to separate in event of fault in the oil. So how does this OCB work? So we have an intersection of oil circuit breaker in which there is a chamber in which we have fixed and moving contact. Whenever during the fault these contacts apart an arc is produced. You can watch my video in which I have explained phenomena of arc production during a fault. So what happens when this arc is produced, the heat of the arc evaporates the oil and this creates a large bubble of gas which mainly consists of hydrogen. And this bubble surrounds the arc from everywhere. And the oil surrounding the bubble conducts the heat away from the arc which helps in cooling of arc and also contributes to deionize and extinction of the arc. So the main advantages of OCBs are oil has the good dielectric strength so it can be used for high voltage operation and the oil can easily be available and the OCB has wide range of braking capacity. There are several disadvantages of OCB. The first is oil is flammable so there is a high risk of fire. Since oil is the main medium used for the arc quenching therefore it requires maintenance and the maintenance cost is high and the operation of arc quenching is slow and it takes around 20 cycles to extinguish. Then comes air blast circuit breaker ABCB. So it uses a high pressure air in the arc quenching medium. When the contacts are separated, high pressure air is forced into the arc which push the arc and elongates the arc into the splitter. This helps in cooling the arc and this high blast of air sweeps the ionized particle within this chamber. The chamber is filled with high pressure air after the extinction of arc which also increase the dielectric strength of the air which prevents restriking or or which prevents establishing of arc the advantages of abcb include high speed operation it is also suitable for the frequent operation it requires less maintenance and also the arc extinguish time is very less since it requires very high pressurized air Therefore, it also consists of compressors and fitting which requires extra maintenance and the operation is comparatively noisy during air discharge. Then comes 
the vacuum circuit breaker and this type of circuit breaker becomes extremely famous when we talk about the voltage ranging between 6.6 .6 kV to 36 kV. The vacuum interrupter uses the vacuum as an arc extinguish medium. The vacuum has the highest insulating strength since it does not contain any molecule of the air. So it has far superior arc quenching properties than any other medium. And the degree of the vacuum is in the range of 10 raised to power minus 7 to 10 raised to power minus 5 torr. And how this vacuum circuit breaker works, you can see here, these are the contacts and these are the arc shield that surrounds the contact. When the contacts part, an arc is formed and surrounding is filled with positive ions and discharges from the contact. The products are immediately deposited on the arc shield surrounding the contact. Since there is nothing in the vacuum, therefore the arc extinguished in only half cycle. As far as the advantages are concerned, the VCB has more advantages and less disadvantages than any other circuit breaker. The advantages include it is very compact and reliable, longer life since it does not use any medium for arc extinguish therefore there is no risk of fire and arc extinction is very fast and there is no need of maintenance and it is also used for the frequent operation and there are no such disadvantages of vacuum circuit breaker. Then comes the SF6 circuit breaker which is ideal for the outdoor application and it is also employed for the voltage ranges between 33 kV to 765 kV. It also consists of moving and fixed contacts enclosed in a chamber called an arc interruption chamber filled with SF6 gas. The SF6 sulfur hexafluoride gas is used as an arc quenching medium. So this gas is electronegative and it has high dielectric strength to absorb free electrons. Therefore, this type of circuit breaker is used for very high voltage. The working principle of SF6 is that during the contact movement in case of fault, high pressure SF6 gas enter into the arc chamber at a pressure of about 16 kg per centimeter square. The SF6 gas absorb free electron that is produced in the arc to form a relatively immobile negative ions. The loss of electrons in the arc build up enough dielectric strength in the air in order to cool and extinguish the arc and prevent re-strike. So the advantages of SF6 circuit breaker includes low maintenance cost, the SF6 is non-flammable and the arcing time is very less and since the SF6 has the dielectric strength therefore it can interrupt large currents, noiseless operation and the most important application is it is suitable for an outdoor installation. The disadvantages include the cost of SF6 is very high and the decomposition of gas results in a poisonous gas which cannot be exhausted in an open air and therefore recondition of SF6 gas is required after every operation. So I hope you fully understand the working principle of all these four types of circuit breakers. So for more interesting videos stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.